Hi there! Here's the newly launched IQ Z9 5G. This is the brushed green color and I must say the design instantly grabs your attention. It starts at just $17,999 and personally I was blown away how good this phone is for that price. You get a 50 megapixel rear camera with OIS and that to a Sony sensor. Then you get an AMOLED display. Then you get a 5000mAh battery and more. Of course, it does cut some corners to achieve that price. We'll talk about everything in detail, the good, the not so good. But first, let me take you through a quick unboxing. So here's the retail packaging, IQ Z written in bold. On the back are some key specs. There's an 8GB RAM, 256GB ROM variant. Inside we have the phone itself some paperwork that no one reads, a TPU transparent cover, really good quality, a SIM ejector pin, USB A to USB C charging cable and a 44 watt charging brick. Let's have a closer look at the phone. As mentioned at the beginning, truly love the back design. The way the lines react to the light is very eye catchy. The frame is polycarbonate but glad it comes with a matte finish so it won't attract any fingerprint or smudges. Also very thin, just 7.8 mm and the phone weighs 188 grams. It actually feels lighter and the weight distribution is also very well balanced. Dual camera with flash, primary 50 megapixel Sony IMX882 sensor with OIS and the secondary portrait sensor. Power and volume rockers on the side, at the bottom is a speaker, USB-C port, microphone and a SIM tray that can house dual nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and a micro SD card. I wish it came with a dedicated SD card slot, but I don't think it's going to make a big difference. Now I want to start with the camera because that's something that completely blew me away. So let's get on with it. Here are some pictures taken with the 50 megapixel Sony sensor. The colors and the imagery for a sub 20k phone are outstanding. The details that the sensor is able to capture are super impressive. All these images are untouched, just go ahead and post them directly on social media. The colors are more vivid as we chose the vivid mode. If you want it to be more real, you can choose the natural mode. Personally, I like the vivid mode. It adds that much needed punch to an ordinary image. But I could nails portrait photography. Check these out. If I didn't have the watermark, you probably would think it's taken from a DSLR. Excellent real bokeh with perfect edge detection. Almost every shot as you can see is perfect. If you love portrait photography, just go for the IQ Z9. It won't disappoint. Then here are some shots taken at night. And trust me, this is really dark, but still you can see so much detail without any blur. These are all handheld shots. Amazing. Then here's a 4K video shot handheld. It maintains good amount of clarity. Also very stable thanks to OIS. Then here's a slow-mo shot at full HD and it can be fun at times. Then here are some shots taken with the 16 megapixel selfie camera. Absolutely love the outcome. Good skin tones, it's clear, it's sharp. Here are some portrait shots. Damn, I can't complain. It's so good. So here's a video recording from the front camera of the IQ Z9 5G of course. And uh, as you can see, it's actually quite clear. It's also very stable. I'm recording this handheld. And this is a 16 megapixel camera, but it can only record up to full HD 30 FPS. There is no 4K video recording on the front camera, which I think is okay for a phone at this price range. How do you think is the quality? Write down in the comments and share with us. All right, two cons of the camera. Well, not cons exactly, but more like nitpicking. The main camera is extremely good, but I wish it captured a tad wider image, especially considering that the IQ9 doesn't even come with an ultra wide sensor. Very recently, I've realized that ultra wides come very handy. So keep that in mind. Let's talk about the display. So we get a 6.67 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. The color reproduction is brilliant, vibrant and punchy. 120 Hz refresh rate adds the much needed smoothness to the interface. It flows like a breeze. And it's even more fun when scrolling on your favorite social media app like Instagram. The right on the top is the punch hole notch housing the 16 megapixel selfie camera. IQ claims 1600 nits of peak brightness and we tested it outdoors. Looks amazing. Clear, bright and crisp. Then we also get an in-display fingerprint scanner which is pretty good. It's not the fastest but does the job really well. 
Watching movies and TV shows is super fun. The content goes edge to edge, looks really immersive. Then thanks to HDR support, the content looks even more stellar. Wide one L1 certification, so you can stream from apps like Netflix and Prime videos at full resolution. We also played HDR YouTube videos and they played at full 4K without any lag or stutter. Trust me, it looks amazing. The iQOO Z9 comes with dual stereo speakers. There's one bottom firing speaker and the earpiece actually doubles as secondary speaker. Time for a quick demo. So initially I assumed that the audio won't be very well balanced because we have one down firing speaker and one front firing speaker. But what amazing audio fidelity Ico has delivered. They get loud, they are clear and they give you good immersive experience especially when you're watching an action scene. You can easily use this also to listen to music on your office desk or bedside table. Good job by Ico. Coming to the interface. So it's running the latest Android 14 out of the box along with FunTouch OS 14. It's extremely well optimized. I didn't notice any lag or app crashes. But yes, there are some pre-installed apps including hot apps and hot games. But the good thing is you can remove them from the settings. There you go, all gone. Also, you can delete most of the unwanted third-party apps as well. Coming to the performance. So it's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 chipset. Firstly, it's a 5G chipset, so both SIMs will support it and it will work across all network providers in India. Now remember, this isn't a flagship chipset, but no slouch either. It's snappy, responsive and can handle all your day-to-day -day tasks like WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, oops, X and the usual apps you would use really, really well. The unit we have came with 8GB LPDDR4X RAM with more 8GB virtual RAM expansion support, giving a total of 16GB RAM. Apps launch almost instantly. It helps make multitasking so much more snappier. And the best part, most recently used apps are still in memory. So they launch even quicker. We ran the Antutu benchmark and it scored over 7 lakh, which I think is pretty good. The device has 256 GB of storage with storage type UFS 2.2. We ran the speed test for that as well and it scored 986 MB read and 839 MB write. I wish this was a little faster, maybe UFS 3.1, but anyway. Then we even played everyone's favorite BGMI. And obviously, we love the monster mode for gaming on ICO devices. Absolutely rocking. We got about 45 FPS, very smooth gaming experience overall. Even after playing for 40 minutes, the device barely got hot. No drop frames or lag. And let's not forget, this ain't even a flagship phone yet performed really well when it came to gaming. The iQOO Z9 will definitely not let you down in the gaming department. Coming to the battery. So we have the industry standard 5000 mAh battery that would easily last me a full day and that too with heavy use. In fact, you could even stretch it to two days for light uses. 44 watt charging brick is provided in the box. It's not the fastest, but still it got me to 75% in about 35 minutes and full in less than an hour, which is I think pretty good, especially for a phone at this price. All right, final thoughts. The camera on the iQOO Z9 is brilliant. Excellent shots anytime. And it nails portrait photography. As I mentioned, I missed the ultra wide sensor here, but that's something you got to keep in mind. Good performance impressive battery and a phone under 20,000, the iQOO Z9 is probably the easiest phone to recommend now. 8GB plus 128GB ROM variant is priced at 17,999 and 8 plus 256GB is priced at 19,999. It goes on sale today, 12th of March on Amazon.in. I'll share the links of all below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, Cheers.